Hi, I'm Paul Seal from codeshare.co.uk and in this video I want to talk to you about the picture tag. So this is an HTML5 element and what it does is it allows you to have different images uh, that the browser decides to render depending on the width of the browser at the time. So I'll, I'll just show it you in action first of all. So I created a new banner for my website for Pluralsight. So what I wanted to do is I wanted it to work on desktop, so this is a desktop view. I wanted it to work on desktop, mobile, and tablet, and all of that. So watch as I go down like this. See how it changes position and it changes size. And as I'm getting smaller, it does that, so it changes size with it. So this is just one A tag, so it's just one link, one element really, like that, that I can click on. And that'll take you to the free trial offer that I've got on uh, Plural Site. So they've got it. So you get a 10-day free trial. And if you do the 10-day free trial, you don't have to carry on. You don't have to pay for anything. I'll get five dollars, so that'll be good. Um, but you don't have to. But if you want to, just so you know, I'll get five dollars for that. Full disclosure, but um, it's really good Plural Site. Anyway, the point to this video. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. So I think it's really useful. Um, and let's have a look. So I've just got the A. So if you imagine what we'd normally have, we'd normally have this. Yeah, that's what we'd normally have. But with the picture tag, if I undo those changes, we've got inside the A, I've got a picture, and then I've got three optional sources. So when it's the max width minimum of this, show this image, and then up to a max width of 800, show this image, and up to a max width of 991, show this image. So it's as simple as that. So I've just got four different size images that I can show now with that um, element. So I thought it's really useful. I've not used it before on anything. I was aware of it, but it's one of those where you're aware of it, but I've not had a use case for it. Well, now I've got a use case for it. So um, I just thought I'd share it with you and let you see yeah, I'll put it. I'll put it in the. I'll do a quick blog post about it as well, so you'll get be able to get the source from there. And I'll link to the blog post in the YouTube video. But yeah, that's the uh, picture tag HTML5 element. I think it's been replaced now, or is being replaced by a different version of it. So you can do source set, so image source set. So you don't need the picture element around it. You can just do it all within the image. But I couldn't get that one to work for me, so I'm quite happy with the picture tag. And I'm sure you'll agree, it works really well. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. I've got over a thousand uh, subscribers now. So it keeps going up and up. Um, I enjoy doing the video, so I'll keep doing as many as I can. And I hope you find them useful. Please click on like, subscribe, share with your friends. And I'll see you in another video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.